What's up guys? So ever since I got my Model 3, I've been following a few companies, a few startups that, you know, wanted to make accessories for the Model 3. One of them was the Tesla Wireless Pad, and that's what it started as. Now it's called Jetta Wireless Pad. I've been following it ever since. They've been beta testing, going with USB sockets, trying to get the optimum wireless charger for your phone. So I'm pretty excited that we got some in the mail today. We got one right here. I got a special note on it, so we'd like to thank Isabel from Jetta Wireless over there. And let's go ahead and open it up. So I don't know if you guys know, but I already did a kind of review on some wireless charging that I did. It, it was a decent charger. I think it didn't get the, quite the output it needed from the USB volts to kind of be feasible. Uh, I, th I think it was maybe 12% in like 30 minutes. Um, so not too fast charging, but it was a good solution. So it comes in this package right here. I'm already starting to open the plastic. So the packaging is actually super nice. It's, it's a legit box. All right, so we're gonna open the box, see what's inside now. Top comes off fairly easy, just like that. And this is what's inside. We got right here, kind of a four step instruction kit. We have a cool sticker. It has their logo, the lightning bolt and a wireless charging symbol or even the Wi-Fi. Uh, kind of symbol and now you have the actual pad itself and take it out and uh, Wow, it's actually it's thicker than I thought it's uh, it's about that thick and I'm actually kind of happy about that um, That makes it a little more sturdy Kind of shows there's some some hardware inside. I might try to open it up later see if it's able to pop open uh, But let's go see what the instructions say Number one, remove the rubber pad from the stock Model 3. And number two, you're going to connect the cables to the back of the pad right here. Peel off the four positioning dots. So I'm assuming that's on the four. In the picture, it shows four corners. Uh, so peel all these off. And you're going to run the cables through the tray, connect them to the front dashboard. Seems pretty easy to me. Um, like I said, kind of first impression of the pad itself. A lot thicker, a lot sturdier, nice kind of rubber where it won't slip. Uh, I'm really excited, pretty happy with that. Uh, here is what's under the pad. We have those two cables we're gonna go ahead and put in the back of the pad. All right, so now we're in White Falcon. We're gonna go ahead and take off the rubber pad that came with the stock model three. I'm gonna go ahead and remove uh, the bottom portion right here. Just slide it off. Take all the cords out. I put a long one there just in case. And now we have the bare back right here. We're gonna take the back of the pad. Um, you know what? I'm gonna actually, before hooking it up to the pad, let me plug it into these USB ports back here. Run it through the middle. And so. Good. Okay, now we're gonna plug these in the back right here. You know what, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Go ahead and reverse the process. That's why they give you that instruction booklet. That's what I get for trying to cheat the system and always not follow instructions. All right, I'm gonna run it through there. I forgot to peel off these dots, these placement circles. So we're going to do that real quick. I think it's just a slight adhesive on the back. Um, I'll peel all those off. Uh, yeah, it's a little sticky. Uh, I can't tell if it's gel or adhesive. Um, I would say it's definitely adhesive. Okay. I'm gonna place it right there. Actually, you don't even need to take this off. It's kind of a perfect fit. Right there. Wireless pad is all set up. Let's see how it works now. All right, so the wireless pad is all set up now. I have here just my standard 
uh, iPhone 10. Lower the brightness so we can see the battery pop up. And we're gonna try out both sides. Let's see how simple it is. Place it down. Starts charging, works like magic. We're gonna try the other side now. Oh, and as you can see, it's still up there. Uh, it's charging at 47% right now. So both sides work, it's pretty good. Uh, once again, I, I just like to say how, I do love how fitting uh, the whole pad is. It's a uh, nice, perfect fit uh, right here. And it's nice, sturdy, stable. I'm really hoping it's gonna give me a fast charge. Uh, I'm gonna be trying it out for a week now. And we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try charging my phone at various percentages. Uh, just kind of see how it reacts. Um, and I will update you guys uh, as the days go on. All right, day one with the Jetta Wireless Pad. Um, I only got to test it out for 15 minutes because thankfully my clinic's only 15 minutes away. But I started at 86% and I'm at 90. So 4% total in about 15 minutes. I know that doesn't sound like much, but uh, with lithium ion batteries, uh, uh, more charge they have so it's a little harder to fill it up when it's already at those top percentages So once again, I'll be testing it out on longer rides testing it out on different Percentages on my phone, but 4% in 15 minutes at 86% You know what I'll take it right now. All right, so today I had a longer commute on the way to work I'm gonna be in the OR today observing my first surgery. I'm pretty stoked for that. It's gonna be super cool Anyways, I started at 5% 30 minutes later, we're at 20%. So we got 15% in about half an hour. I'm pretty excited about that given the fact that it is a two front uh, USBs, little lower amperage output, as well as it is wireless charging. So it is gonna be a little slower than wire charging you have to keep in mind. It did charge faster on an empty battery as I expected, but overall I'm really pleased so far. All right, so day five with the Jetta wireless pad. I didn't get to make another video yesterday, but I did charge at the same amount, around 40 to 50%, around 30 minutes. Now, each time I got around 12 to 14%. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm still loving it. Uh, it's really easy to just hop in my car, place my phone. So far, so good. I'm liking the product. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so I've been using the Jetta wireless pad for about two weeks now. I stopped documenting every single day because I just started to find out the same things as far as I would get this much amount of percentage over X amount of time. Of course, the uh, less amount of battery you have in your phone, the ch faster it'll charge, the higher amount of battery, the slower it'll charge. But I've been coming in every day, it's very intuitive. I come in, start driving, place my phone on the pad, and it starts charging on the go. So the advantages of the pad are it's sleek, it's nice to touch, it grips well, and it really fits in with the car. It definitely does not look aftermarket, it looks pretty stock. It was one thing that was missing with the Tesla Model 3 as far as it's supposed to be a little more high tech and I would think by then it would have wireless uh, phone charging capability. But this pad, it goes ahead and encompasses all that. It accomplishes all your wireless charging needs and it will give you as much power as the two front USBs can handle. Now I, I've seen a few people that run up the USBs up to the cigarette lighter up in the middle glove compartment or the middle console and that will give you more of a power output as well. Uh, now the disadvantages however is the my phone case. I can't fit it on there because the pad's a little bit thicker where um, some thicker phone cases might not be able to fit on there with it overlapping the lip. Uh, as well as the adhesive on the back. Uh, I had to put a little more double stick tape there just to get a firm place on it. Other than that, it's a great pad. Thanks Jetta Wireless Pad for making a great product. All right, so if you're wondering where to get this awesome pad, all you have to do is visit www.getjetta.com. And if you really want it, you're in luck because we're doing another giveaway. We have another one right here and it's in its plastic. It's ready to go. It's ready to be shipped out to one of you guys. All you have to do is share this video. Go ahead and comment done with your Instagram username so we can verify that. Go ahead and retweet it on my Twitter. Uh, go ahead and tag me Tesla underscore young or young Tesla right there. For all you guys wondering about the Hawaii giveaway and my last video for all that Tesla gear right there. Well, uh, it's not too late to enter. Go ahead and go back to that video comment done there. Once again, share your Instagram username, share it on social media. 
We want to get this video as many likes, get as many views, so I can keep doing things just like this. Once again, you can find me on Patreon right here. I appreciate all the support, guys. Go ahead, leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time.